Hello, welcome back to a video, and today I'm doing Rating 5. And this is, and I'd like to say really quick, this is not my gameplay. I'm doing a voiceover, and this is not my gameplay that I'm showing you on screen. This is actually Excalibur's gameplay, so say thank you to him for sending me this gameplay so I can do this map. So, uh, his link his links will be down in the description if you guys want to go follow him on Twitch, YouTube, all that. So, I I need to start off with... Uh, 5 was my very first map I ever played. So, I'm trying not to think about that when I'm doing this, but I will. Because it's just... 5 is one of those maps that I just can't unsee as my first map which isn't a bad thing it's pretty good i can say that i had this is my first map i ever played zombies on 10 years ago which is kind of insane to think about now but anyway uh with the ratings i'm gonna do a start with fun because i haven't played this map Keep in mind, in it's been almost almost four years since I played this map, so I'm trying to like remember this map completely. So fun, I had a lot of fun on this map. To be honest with you guys, I'm moving fun at three. So I absolutely love this map. I really hope I can play it again. Classified is good and all, but. It, it doesn't... I like the original versions of these maps. With Black Ops 4, they, they just kind of ruined these maps. I won't even lie about that. They ruined them. Um, good features. This map has a lot of good features. And you can't unsee all of them. But as there is a lot of good features, there's also a lot of bad features. The Pentagon Thief, people don't get annoyed with him, but I, I kind of do, I kind of don't, it depends with him, but I, I think he's a pretty good map, a one-time map villain, instead of doing what they do with the Panzer, where he's in like, let me think, where he's in like four maps, or something like that, yeah, I think he's in like four I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Anyway. But... It's like... The one-time villains I like. Like, one-time bosses, I mean. In these games. Like, they're not... Overly difficult, but they're not too hard. So... Another one is... Teleporting to... The, uh, break room to... Uh, pack punch, and you have to do all five of the uh, button thingies. I forgot what they're called. Death cons. Pretty unique. I really like that feature of pack punch. It's very simple to the point where you can understand what you're supposed to do. So, I'm actually going to give it a th give this a three as well. I'm giving fun and good features both threes. Finally, we have map design. Okay. Best way I can describe this is first floor, nice. Middle floor, kind of rough. Bottom floor, absolute horror fest. I think that's probably the... I think this is one of the best map designs they've ever done. Because you have two elevators that take you to each floors. We can turn the power and get teleporters. Yeah, but it's just this map is just just amazing actually. There's like barely anything bad I can say about it. So I'm giving map map design I'm giving a three. This got a nine out of a nine. I love this map and I hope to play it again one day. So 
Hope you enjoyed, and I will see if I can get any more maps. But besides this, hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Bye.